And they said we can play, and that's supposed to be fair. It's not fair. What do you do with that? You try to make the best of it, because otherwise you're going to have a very miserable existence. <laughs> I have a solution for making YouTube videos that I'm trying to solve today and my gosh, this little kid in Anyway, listen, I gotta go stop by my brother's job. You guys just uh, roll with me. I gotta go pick up some equipment and I'll update you in a second. Downtown Brooklyn right now. I'm meeting up with my brother to grab some gear from him. Uh, today, I am trying to solve one of my bigger problems with making YouTube videos, and it is my temporary apartment in the Lower East Side, which is pretty small. So it's actually too small to kind of create like a lighting setup. So I don't tend to shoot YouTube videos in the space because I just don't want to light it, and I don't want my videos to just kind of look like crap. So um, today we're going to solve those problems. Uh, I have a pickup as we go to Adorama, my favorite photo video store in the city. So let me grab this gear from Chuck real quick and then uh, we'll hop back on the train and go to Manhattan. Time to head back and uh, make the swap on gear. Let's see what happens. How you doing? Just want to get you slice in a couple, make it feel like Brooklyn, you know. <laughs> Thank you. the real adventure again. So I made it back to Manhattan, took a couple snaps in Brooklyn, nothing incredible. It's really hard to vlog, carry a bag, and shoot a manual camera. Let's go grab my GoPro, put it on the vest here, and then uh, maybe we'll have a day of shooting, and then we'll get back and set up this gear, show you my new YouTube setup. This is the funniest part about being a YouTuber, sitting here, multitasking, waiting for breakfast sandwich with all this shit on me. I used to be a one camera, one lens kind of guy. What happened? That's the strongest light to flash here.
I'm whispering right now because my girlfriend's over there. On a work call. But I made it home and I want to show you guys how tiny our apartment is because we moved here in a rush trying to get back into the city. And um, because of that, as everybody was trying to secure apartments and stuff like that, things kind of went really fast. And a friend actually hooked me up with the lease transfer, so this is how we got this place. But while this place is only temporary and we signed a one-year lease just to get back in in the Lower East Side and feel like we're in the mix of things, um, as you can see, it is not the biggest apartment ever. There's the kitchen. There's the living room. There's my computer and my girlfriend crushing a sandwich. And turn around here and video games there. Now one of the problems with the small apartment is it's hard to keep clean. So I don't want to introduce lights and light stands and all this shit into this space because it's just going to be a pain in the ass. So I kind of have an idea for how to set up my YouTube setup so I can continue to making talking head videos. It's not just all POV. Um, so we're going to go to Adorama right now and solve this issue. But first, I got to get a couple of things together because I'm planning on selling a lot of gear because I'm going to upgrade my 35 millimeter Sumicron to a Sumilux and maybe I'll do that today. Maybe I won't. But my thinking behind selling my gear and doing this is that as a Leica ambassador in New York City, they might give me a really compelling price on the 35 millimeter Sumilux, but it won't be as compelling as if I sold some gear that I'm not using anymore. So I'll show you my gear shelf real quick. I'm gonna pile everything over here and show you what I'm getting rid of. New addition to the family. Another new addition to the family. Another new addition to the family. Well, I'm sure you guys know about that one. And then there is also this guy. Which, I mean, this thing deserves its own video. So look out for that, because that's coming. This is an incredible lens. Highly recommended by Ralph Gibson. Um, he has everything, every 75 millimeter that's ever existed from Leica, and that is one that he always uses. So, highly recommended, and I'll show you guys why in another video, but <clears throat> let's get everything out that's getting gone, because I'm all about clearing out the gear clutter this year, so. Um, here's everything that has to go. So, we have Fuji 50, Fuji 16 to 55, the Fuji 16 millimeter, and then we have a set of cine lenses that are just, I don't know why I bought these, they're just not that good. And the build quality, while it does feel nice and metal on my Blackmagic Pocket, this one rattles like, I don't know if you hear that. I've never even dropped it, but it does that. And then also my Mavic Air Drone 2, which I just don't ever use. Um, and finally, one more piece of the puzzle that I might sell. This is the hardest thing actually to say goodbye to. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but it is this 35 millimeter Sumicron, the Spherical version one. The reality is <clears throat> I can't tell if I'm being too nostalgic here or sentimental, but technically it's the first Leica lens I ever had. Uh, that and the 28L Merit and if I'm being completely honest, I don't like the idea of selling Leica gear. I'd like to keep it, depending on the versions, and um, because I have multiple bodies that it can go on, and I will own more M bodies. Uh, I like for those cameras to have lenses on them. And the reality is the value of these lenses doesn't particularly go down at any point. Sometimes they rise. So I want to try avoiding selling that lens, but I do know I want a 35 millimeter zoom along the time has come. Um, and eventually I do want a 28 millimeter Sumicron. So I don't know how much all this gear is gonna add up to when I stop at Adorama, but if the price is right, I'll keep my Sumicron. If the price is wrong, I'll sell my Sumicron. And I know what you guys are thinking. I could probably make so much more money if I just sold this stuff on my own, but the reality is, is right now I'm at a point where I just need the convenience, I want the gear gone, piecemealing. I posted on my Instagram stories and told people to come get it and pay me a Venmo. Nobody sent Venmos. Nobody was very serious about getting the gear. So I don't have time for that. Um, I'd rather just drop it off. So let's go to Adorama, pack all this stuff in a bag and see what happens.
Not a bad look, huh? With this mask. As Willie from Queen said, a lot of people try to cover up their red dye. Not me, baby. I wear it on my face. I never wear a backpack. I feel like such a dweeb. I only wear one when I'm traveling. I don't like to have a lot of gear on me. I know I've said that already today, but man, is it true. <laughs> I feel so hindered by it all. Um, or like a child, not like a 35 year old, 36 year old man um, with a backpack on. It's probably because I uh, used to call it a book bag my whole life. Someone corrected me and was like, book bag, what are you, a child? And I was like, you know what? That really informs the way I see about everything. Oh, something's going on over here. Down in the subway. I'm not gonna do it. I just, it's a stretcher. I went down there, best case scenario, someone's hurt. It's also a worst case scenario for me because I don't wanna photograph that. Um, so yeah, onward. Said it was in stock and ready for pickup at 11:30. Yeah. Um. Here, let me see. I mean, we can they just sell out already or something? Or? No. Sometimes the website is just inaccurate. Gotcha. Yeah, not that. Um. But here, let me let me double check and see. When I was here, we used to walk around eight by ten. You know, open it up, and then you take an eight by ten. Oh, oh, all right well this is the hard part i got the lens now <laughs> the sun is going down and while the city is pedestrian it's so hard to find a place just a table you sit down and swap these lenses out probably should have did it in adorama wanted to film it uh there's no place to film it in there so now i'm just walking around looking for a fucking place to change these lenses so i could shoot it <sighs> fully swapped out here as you can see you got the 35 zoom hooks a little bit bigger than the sumacron um let me get a couple portrait while the light holds uh hit start on this gopro ditch this one and uh see you guys when we get back home okay time to just get some very standard boring portraits because all i want to do is see how this lens renders i'm not very interested in making art as we all know, whenever you get a brand new lens or a brand new piece of gear, you're gonna take some of the worst photos you've ever taken, testing that bad boy out. So I'm looking for those type of images right now. 
I'm gonna try my best not to be too picky about the subjects because that can end up holding me back. But let's see, this looks like a good first subject here. kidding I'm still being incredibly discerning when it comes to who I would take a portrait of like I'm walking through droves and droves and crowds of people but like not a single person is piquing my interest right now to test this lens out which is really fucking stupid excuse my language I mean don't 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 overly says you are would you mind if i took your portrait out you're sitting it's such a beautiful pose you're holding Merci. yeah may oui. i please uh no but my girlfriend speaks french <laughs> only french it's a beautiful language Merci. one more very from? beautiful new york no but original original new york i was born in harlem because you have a very interesting face. Do I? Yeah. Is that a good thing? <laughs> yeah, very, very interesting. Mm. You're black, yeah, but you have more than, more than that. Well, my father was Puerto Rican and Italian, so. Italian. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah. It All shows, right. huh? <laughs> yeah, it shows. It yeah. really shows. Yeah. See, I didn't know when I asked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mix of features. You see, I'm an ex, uh, not an expert, but uh, I um, write about black history. Okay. But I'm not writing uh, about the slavery. Mm. I write before slavery. Mm. Maybe you don't know, but in 1444, mm -hmm. the Portuguese invaded Africa. May I take one more of you with the sunset before I leave? Because I have to, I have to go to dinner, and I'm so. Are you? Bon appetit. Thank you. Are you always around here? No, rarely. Where do you? I live um down by Ludlow. I live right here. I used to live right here in Steintown, so. But I always get coffee and walk through this area. I live right here next above the gypsies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a pleasure talking to you. I hope to talk to you again. What's your name? Jason. Jason. Okay. Yes. It was very nice to meet you. Roller. Yeah, I, oh, I sent are. it. I have it. I have it texted. That's what we are. <laughs> I we appreciate are. you. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. Okay, have a good day, care. okay? Take care. So I just got back. I got like one portrait in the streets. I'll show you guys that in just a second. Let me set up my new YouTube setup. I'm just gonna let this run while I build it and then I'll explain to you guys why I wanted the new light, show you the new light on someone else's channel. And um, I'll do a little talking head portion just to show you what, what this is going to look like in this space for you all. Be right back. quick 
put this on the tripod. This is basically what I was trying to build, um, except with the smaller light. Hey guys, Caleb here, and this is the new Aperture 60D. The V-mount battery would have actually mounted right up here. As you can see, this doesn't fit the OCF. That's not for this, so it's not fitting properly. We wouldn't use this professionally because look at all that spill. But for a YouTube video, sure it works. And then we have this V-mount. So my entire YouTube setup, lighting setup is right here. I don't have power cords all over the house. I'm gonna put this on the tripod and uh, let's see what this looks like. Let's turn that on. I don't wanna mess up the framing, I guess. Check, 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 check. <clears throat> okay. All right, so this is it. This is my setup. As you saw, I have a 120D with a V-mount attached to it with a tiny little soft box so I can create this look, which is not bad. Then I have another aperture light back there. I know it doesn't look good, uh, but whatever. It's working right now, and the intention is to make content. So I'm using the Sony ZV-1. Um, that's what's filming me right now with the Rode mic attachment. And yeah, this is super easy, and I'm just gonna do this from now on until eventually I'll get a studio again one day, and we'll move to a bigger apartment, and yada, yada, yada. But for now, this is the name of the game. Um, real quick, I wish I would have had the light to show you, but instead, I've got this beautiful, beautiful, let's get that light in there, oh my god, the 35 millimeter Sumalux, and uh, I was actually able to catch a couple of photos on the way home with this while the light was going down, shot at 1.4, so you guys can see that right now, but I will say, this lens and the rendering definitely lives up to the hype. Something about this image is very painterly. I haven't seen it on my computer yet. I've only seen it on the back of my LCD screen. And because my eyes are so bad, I'm not 100% sure that I caught focus. Actually, let me check right now. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a, yeah that's, that, that's a focus. That's a focus. I got it, guys. So yeah, not bad for um, my first attempt with that lens. And you know, it's brand new, and uh, that's the first portrait I've taken, the first portrait ever taken on this lens, because I don't think anybody really ever shot this lens before. So that's incredible. I still have my 35 millimeter Summicron. I don't really want to sell my Leica lenses. I like the idea of keeping them. I also have multiple bodies that I could put it on. So the reality is, is if I sell it, then I'm gonna have one lens to share amongst a few bodies that just doesn't feel right, doesn't make sense. But who knows, maybe maybe, maybe it will make sense in the end. I do really want a 28 millimeter Summicron, so I could possibly sell that for the 28 millimeter Summicron and keep my 28 L Merit. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the toss-up is, but I'm glad I saved money not buying a very serious 50 millimeter lens because I don't shoot 50. I got it, and I got the cheapest 50 I could find, and it's really fun to shoot but it feels novel at this point. We'll see, maybe when summertime rolls around and I'm out in the streets every single day shooting again, it'll make sense while I walk around with two bodies. But as of right now, 35 and 28 are just really, really doing it for me. Yes. I'm very excited to start creating again. And just to check in, so think about what I said earlier in the video too today. I was just asked to do a workshop. I don't know if anybody from New York is listening to this right now, but if you are watching this video, and it sounds like something you would attend, why don't you just drop a couple ideas in the comment section about what you'd like to see if you paid to come to a workshop. Um, would you wanna focus on portraits um, and street photography? Do you wanna talk about more uh, my approach and ideas? Um, being intentionally inspired instead of influenced. There's a bunch of things that we could discuss, um, but I'd like to hear from you guys because you, you would possibly be the ones taking this workshop. So I think it'd probably be better for you to tell me the best way to serve you instead of me just coming up with a random topic and discussing that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, expect some more of these random videos where I'm just moving through time and space, taking photographs, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed making this today. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.